Hey everybody, Sneaky Narcotic, back at it again with another YouTube video, and in today's video, I have a real special treat for you. I have been sponsored by a new Magic the Gathering product called Magic the Gathering Loot Chest. It is a loot box type of product that you can either subscribe to and get monthly, or you can just buy one box at a time at your he has multiple different boxes on his website. I bought a standard uh, box, I believe is what it's called, and it comes with the most three of the most recent standard packs, a play mat, and either a deck box or deck sleeves. Now, I've already recorded these videos that you're about to see. I do want to mention I got the prices wrong, so I will be in the t uh, text box below putting a accurate pricing on these products that was given to me by the by the owner of Magic the Gathering Loot Chest. Um, I do also want to mention, of course, I will be putting his website and his Patreon in the description down below. So go ahead and check that out. Um, but without further ado, let's get into these unboxing videos. Alright guys, here's the box he sent me. Here is my knife of opening. Let's get into it. All right, let's see what we got in this box here. So, first thing I see when opening this box is this lovely beautiful deck box he sent me God, i love the pattern on this deck box it makes it honestly it makes me feel like it's a pokemon ball with the way that it opens up into the dice uh the dice um little sleeve here and it opens up with a card sleeve right there very nice love that design <clears throat> Of course, here's the playmat that was sent with it. I'll show that off in just a second once I get the box out of the way. Then, he gave me three packs from Standard, because I did buy the Standard box for $25. He gave me a Relic token, super nice Relic token, a little Dinosaur Trample, actually foil token too, very nice. Spin down counter for my Coria. And axe out. Get the box out of the way. Let's see what we got here. So I think this should be the I think he sent me a basic land pack. Just with uh random rare, this one being a pack leader. Very beautiful foiled pack leader from M21 there. Oh man, look at that artwork on that freaking... I'm trying to hold it up. It's foiled, so of course my uh, my camera's having issues with the lighting. But uh, yeah, very nice little artwork on that. Oh my god, these are beautiful. I guess I really never saw these M21 showcase arts. Or I, at least that's what I assume. I don't think these are the basic lands, but geez, Louise, that's beautiful. Um, yeah, they're all foiled and freaking delicious. There's the last one, and like I said, I think this is just a basic land pack. Uh, three plains, three islands, three swamps, mountains, and a forest. All foiled, the whole pack foiled. Very nice artwork on those first couple of lands there. Let's see what I got in my Throne of Eldraine pack here. <laughs> the first card, the most broken card in Magic. Yes, uh, bite me. I hate mono red. Okay, I absolutely hate this card in mono red. I uh, loves Kiss. Witching Well, Ember Paladin. Ah, yeah, that, that saved me multiple times in, in uh, 
and draft. Mexic Sanctuary. Ah, the Colgen familiar, everybody. Look at it in all its beautifulness. And oh my god, I got a Fabled Passage. I've actually been needing one for my commander deck. I'm trying to let y'all see all the words of my Fabled Passage there. These cards, obviously being pack sealed, they're not going to be bent or anything, so that's going to say newly minted there. And, and, my foil is a freaking Mirror Maid, which is also a really good card uh, in Standard, as well as Commander, which I play a bunch of Commander. Bunch of Commander up at the show. Alright, then we have 420 21 pack. I really don't know much about core 2021 uh just because i didn't get a chance to play it i was kind of taking off season a little bit uh sad to say oh my god tear of the peaks mythic rare those are your opponents cast uh oh huh. i'm sorry i i'm i'm reading it and you guys can't really get in there maybe if i hold it like that Suppose your opponent's cast that targets Terror of the Peaks cost an additional three life cast whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control. Terror of the Peaks deals damage. Of course, now I've lost the lighting. Deals damage equal to that creature's power toughness or power to any target. Then we have Chandra's Hyrling. Riddle form, which actually ugh, used to be a really good card in Commander, not not necessarily, but it was it was it was fun to play in the Commander. So was Colossal Dreadmaw, standard. They used to be. I love I love some of these reprints they brought in M twenty one. Uh, I didn't get to play it, but I did at least pay attention to spoiler season at least a little bit. Can't be blocked as long as you've drawn two or more cards. Shouldn't be hard. Uh, Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. This is an unboxing video. You guys would probably like to see the rest of the unboxing. <laughs> um, do check out some of my other videos. I am getting back into the Magic game. Going to start playing some more Arena. Um, right now is spoiler season, so I'm mainly, I'm mainly focusing on spoilers. But after spoiler season, Arena all day, every day. And trust me, uh, those spoilers definitely worth it. Uh, here from my throne of eld or, or excuse me my uh theros pack god i don't know why i couldn't think of theros just now I won't be a god i want it to be a god i don't i don't think i ever pulled a god no but it's the uh it's the anti-planeswalker one let's see if this one has better in the lighting loyalty abilities of planeswalkers your opponent's control Boss one generic more to activate. Yeah, that's a really good card. And then of course, you know, a um a Theros land, you know, the Pokemon lands. So honestly, this box as a whole wasn't that bad. I got um oh yes, I, I need to show off the Let me get these packs out of the way. Actually sitting here in my lap and I was about to forget about it. This beautiful little play mat. Oh yeah, dude. Oh sick. Love it. This is Star City Games play mat, but super swaggerific here. Oh dude. This looks like a a goblin with an egg and a mage and a partner going away from like a beast, I guess. It in the hedrons. I know you guys can't really see that. I'm trying to take a guess of what set this might have been from, but the Hedrons make me think that this is from uh, Zendikar, which is hilarious because we're about to go back to Zendikar. I don't think this is a newly printed one. I think this is one that I... I don't think this is a newly printed one, but I could be wrong. I mean, because it doesn't have the um, Odrazi on it, so this might be one of the brand new Zendikar playmats that I got. And it looks awesome. Feels great. Uh, I know some people, they'll use these playmats as, uh, like, a mouse pad and a keypad. And that's what I'd like to use it for because this one is super, super soft. But, yeah, guys, um, so in this box, I got three standard packs. That's about four or five bucks each. 
I got a playmat, which is about $15 to $20, depending on where you go. Uh, I got a deck box. I believe the deck box. The deck box. That right there, I believe that's a $15 deck box, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to try to put the pricings on this, like, right down here somewhere while I go through this video. But, um, I believe the deck box is 15 ish dollars or so. I uh, so that's 15 that's 15 at least I uh, that's 30 bucks I've already made my money back between this and that the I uh, the, the packs were four to five bucks each if you sell them as packs and then the relic little dinosaur which is foiled uh, I don't I really don't know if that matters for the resale value because I've never actually tried to resell a relic before but uh, the little relic counter, it's uh, it's five bucks. Uh, I mean, four or five bucks. So really, I've made my money back between this and that, and then all the rest is fluff. There's a really good deal. Uh, he's just starting out. The guy who uh, contacted me, the um, his name's Nick, the owner of the Magic: The Gathering loot box. Uh, and yeah, he's. He's getting this started, and it's a really good deal, so I hope uh, you guys will go check him out. Uh, I'm going to leave a description, uh, in the description, down below, uh, a link to the website so that you guys can come check him out. Um, this box was 25 He has other boxes that I will be putting up a video shortly about um, in the future for, I want to say, Modern and Commander. I think you might even have a another one that i'm not thinking of but you can subscribe or you can buy the boxes individually and it's a really good deal um thank you guys for watching for those that have uh are new to the channel um i am going to be still putting out magic the gathering content as well as these loot box content uh videos just for you guys so please hit that subscribe button and uh look forward to the next video